and I'm I Ethan, Lukey Luke, and, and Big Boy Raphael. Nanny and Zandad's gonna read to you today Titus's troublesome tooth. <clears throat> Titus the goat ate everything. He ate carrots, cabbages, he ate dandelions and dock leaves, he ate prickly, tickly thistles. He even ate Farmer Harry's pants and vests off the washing line. Titus absolutely loved eating until one day he woke up with a terrible pain. <gasps> he didn't want his breakfast. He didn't want to munch or crunch the apples in the orchard. He wasn't even tempted to nibble at Mrs. Harry's nightdress. Titus felt as miserable, well, as miserable as a goat with a toothache. He was a very grouchy, grumbly goat indeed. That's a troublesome tooth, said Derry the donkey. Open your mouth and I'll pull it out with my big strong teeth. Titus shook from his horns to the tip of his tail. Uh, uh, um, no thanks, he bleated. He ran and ran and grouched and grumbled until he reached the farmyard. That's a troublesome tooth, said Sadie the hen. Open your mouth and I'll peck it out with my nice sharp beak. Titus quivered on all four hooves. Oh no, he said. Titus ran and ran and grouched and grumbled. That it was until he reached the barn. Oh, that's a troublesome tooth, said Polly the cat. Open your mouth and I'd scratch it out with my long shiny claws. Titus trembled from his white beard to his furry bottom. Uh, 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 no thanks, he shouted. Titus ran and ran grouched and grumbled until he reached the meadow. Oh, that's a troublesome tooth, said Basil the bull. Open your mouth and I'll butt it out with my hard curly horns. <laughs> All of Titus's chief teeth chattered and rattled, even the bad ones. Uh, uh, um, no thanks, he sobbed. Titus ran and ran and grouched and grumbled until he reached the duck pond. Ooh, that's a troublesome tooth, said Daphne the duck. Open your mouth, I'll tuck it out with some duckweed. Titus shook so much that he nearly fell into the water. Ooh, ooh, no thanks, he yelled. Titus ran and ran and grouched and grumbled until he found himself right back in the barnyard again. Don't worry, said Dave, Sadie the hen. Farmer Harry will get rid of that troublesome tooth for you because he's called the vet. The vet, shouted Titus. The vet! He quivered and shivered. He trembled and he shook. His teeth rattled and chattered, even the bad one. No way do I want the vet. Titus ran and ran and grouched and grumbled until Kurash, Kurash. Titus bashed his head against the fence and the troublesome tooth fell out at last. Titus was very happy that he didn't have to go to the vet and he was very happy that his bad tooth had fallen out. So that's the end of the story my lovely boys. So Ethan, Lukey Luke, 
and big boy Raphael. Nanny and Sandad love you. Sweet dreams. Go to bed like good boys. And I'll see you. I'll see you next week. Love you. <laughs> Bye then. I'm going to say to all from Sandad and Nan. <laughs> Nanny and Sandad love you all. We love you. <laughs>